All right. Nice deep breath. Breath and roll. Okay, little poke. <laughs> One, two, three. You know, I know that there are a couple of a couple of factors at work, and I think you know this virus, this pandemic, has shown a bright light on the healthcare disparities and the the. So we find it very important that when a vaccine is, first of all, that the vaccine is avail available as soon as possible. So one of the main tasks of this COVAX facility is jointly to support those vaccines which are most advanced to bring them as soon as possible on the market. Um, in addition to fasten that process, it's important that when the vaccine of this importance is now as a new product available, that it is equitable distributed. What do we mean with equitable? First of all, all countries should be available, should be in the position to have access to it. And then within each country, the priority groups should have access first, and it should be affordable, and it should be of good quality. So this COVAX facility, which is um, COVAX stands for COVID-19 uh, Global Vaccine Access, is an initiative which by now brings together 160, 86 countries. And part of them are coming from those countries you mentioned as poor, parts of the world, the developing countries, and part, the other part comes from countries which can finance the vaccine themselves, but who benefit from a global collaboration to reduce prices and to fasten the access to those vaccines. So this is how um, COVAX is compositioned. And Iran is one of the countries which, because it's an upper middle income country, it falls under the category of self-financing countries. So Iran is now making a financial contribution to the pool of the COVAX facility. And we hope that in the course of January, it will then be decided which, which vaccines will be made available through this COVAX facility. And it will be equally distributed. The rich countries have the same access and determined um, allocation from the COVAX facility as the very poor countries or countries in between like Iran. So under the COVAX, these 180 plus countries which are now members and do things jointly they have agreed that within 2021, at least 2 billion doses of vaccines should be made available to these countries. Um, there's an agreement who needs to be prioritized. So first, the healthcare workers, the other workers working in social care institutions and other important um, workforce, um, who keep us together in running society and supporting others, they will get vaccinated first. And after that comes the group of people who are older, so older of 65 years, and come the people who are younger than 65 years, but they have some diseases and health preconditions which make them particularly vulnerable. And there are the priorities and only when they are served then there should be also the broader part of the population those who would like to take the vaccine although they might not be at particular risk and i assume that when we are successful to cover them with the vaccine very well then we will see automatically already through vaccinating them even if the larger part of the population is not yet necessarily uh, also vaccinated at that point in time. But we will see much less pressure on the hospitals. We will see much less pressure on the intensive care units. 
and we will also see less people dying because they are coming out of that particular age group or vulnerable group. Uh, we know in the moment only that there are some 40 or 50 um, vaccines globally which are in a promising um, phase of clinical trials and um, about 10 or 10 to 15 maybe by now um, of these vaccines they are now in the phase 3 trial. Phase 3 is the trial which involves really large parts of the population and where eventually the efficacy of the vaccine is being proven or not. Um, and you may know that uh, very recently in the last two weeks there have been by now I think three of the global vaccine developers they have uh, made initial announcements and publications about the efficacy and the safety of their product and they have also started um, applying filing for registration at the regulatory bodies because once a vaccine is being developed it still needs to be approved by the national authorities um, whether the vaccine is really good um, and only then it can be marketed and it can be deployed. I think in the moment, at least for the few months to come until the vaccine is available here, um, the most important uh, um, issue to, to address the current situation of the epidemic is still that we take all the precautionary measures which have been uh, subscribed to us which mainly result into the issue of reducing contacts and reducing exposure to an infected person. So whether this is through personal hygiene, wearing a mask, um, which I do not know need to do now in the moment because you keep the right distance uh, to me. So physical distancing is the uh, other aspect because we cannot yet get loose on the protective side. The vaccine is not yet there. So we still need to support the hospitals, the laboratories, the people with the contact tracing, that everybody has a mask, that we keep our hands clean and so forth. We still need to focus on it. We cannot give it up. We still have this aspect of the long duration of the epidemic. There are many things we need still to learn how to live with COVID. Even if a vaccine is there, it will take a year or more than a year that really most parts of the populations will be vaccinated. So there's a lot more work in the moment for the World Health Organization to support each of the governments in the um, uh, world and the countries to be prepared for the rollout of the vaccination campaign. And I think it's also important, you, your role you are playing is, is the media in the moment is very essential because you need to inform people, expectations are very high. Everybody wants to have the vaccine yesterday or best tomorrow. So it's important that we also explain that vaccine will come in phases. And it is important for all of us that we want to have a safe vaccine. We want to have a good quality vaccine. And we should not compromise with one or two weeks in fast tracking certain decisions and then we end up with the vaccine which turns out after a while maybe not to be the best one and not to be the optimum one. So this balance between we want to have it as soon as possible to Related to the reality that it takes still a little time, you have an important role to play in the media to educate all of us that uh, we do as fast as we can, but we want to have a safe vaccine and we want to be really that everybody is protected uh, when vaccinated.